All right, I'm going to try to show you how to make a scatter plot um, on your Inspire. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, in current document, uh, I'm going to add a listen spreadsheets page. And so I'm going to enter some data here and I'm going to label these. So this is column A, but I'm going to call it XC for X coordinates. And then I'm going to call this Y C1 for the Y coordinates. I'm actually going to do two scatter plots. Um, so let's say that my... Uh, X coordinates are, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter what you choose. Uh, 10. I mean, you'll be given data, so it will matter for you. Um, let's go with five, seven. So I'm going to make up a generally increasing trend here. Um, 13, maybe a 15, and then I don't know. Let's go with a 34. Something like that. Okay, so that's what I have. And now what I'm going to do is um, over here somewhere, what I'm going to do is put the cursor here, I guess, and then I'm going to press menu and go to statistics and then stat calculations and then linear regression. I'm going to do MX plus B. Uh, you could do A plus BX. It doesn't really matter, but you're probably more familiar with MX plus B. I'm going to pick that. It wants to know what my X list is, so I'm going to delete out what it defaults to. Click here, and I want xc for the x-coordinates. Um, click here. I want yc1 for the y-coordinates. And then uh, this is the really important part. Save regression equation to um, f1. So it defaults to the first op open function. Um, so I'm going to allow it to go there. I'm going to press OK. It does the regression for you. It figures out uh, m, which is the slope, b, which is the y-intercept. You can see it's telling you mx plus b. Uh, figures out r squared and r. Your teacher might talk about that. Um, and it put our equation in F1. So what's nice about that is if I uh, press doc and then insert, I'm going to insert a graphing page. And if I, so you can see it's on F2 right now. If I arrow up, it actually has that equation that it found. So I'm going to do that. And you can see the equation, you can resize. Um, it's just a normal equation now. And so what I'm going to do, so that's uh, how you get a regression equation. Uh, I'm going to go back here, and the way you can do that is uh, if you hit control, and then uh, if I go control and to the right, it's going to take me to my graph. If I go control and then left, it'll take me back here. I'm going to add another thing here, so yc2, um, and I'm going to use the same x-coordinates. If you add more x-coordinates, you would just you know, name a new column uh, xc2, like second x-coordinates. Um, let's say that I go... Uh, I don't know, 20, and then 18, maybe uh, 17, and let's say 14. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I'm picking here. I'm trying to get a general uh, downtrend. So as X increases, this kind of decreases. Um, so this one, I really have no idea what to pick. I'm going to pick negative 2. Okay, so I've done that. And now what I'm going to do is go over to another open spot here. Um, and I'm going to do it again. So menu statistics, calculations, linear regression. Again, it, it always picks the column to the left of where you put the cursor, but that's definitely not what I want. So my X coordinates are that. If I press tab and then to the right once, it actually drops down this menu for you. Uh, my Y coordinates are uh, YC2. And you can see it's going to save this in um, F2. So the regression equation goes into F2 or the linear, uh, the, the equation that I get. So this one has a slope of negative 2.5, one, let's say 5. Uh, Y-intercept 23.312, if we're rounding to three decimal places. You get these R values again, or R squared and R. Um, and then something called residuals, which again, your teacher might talk about. They might not talk about it. Um, if they don't talk about it, it's okay. You don't really need to worry about it quite so much. Um, so if I go back over here, I'm going to do it by clicking, and press, uh, I'm going to press tab to get this... Uh, the function list back up and there you can see the second equation and so now they're both graphed in the same spot and once you have them you can do whatever you want so I can uh, analyze graph and find the intersection so I'll click there click there you can see that's my intersection point um, you can do anything you could do with the normal function with these functions now um, and that's how you do a, a line of best fit or a linear regression on uh, a set of data. Um, so I hope you found this helpful and uh, good luck.